Money, money, money. Proverbs 27, verse 24. Money, money, money. Money, money, money. Money. Money, 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 money. Wow. Many people really cherish money. They get so eager and excited about money, just like, oh, here, here's money, my credit card. Oh, oh my, and look at this money. Oh, it is so big and delicious. Oh, I'm drooling after it. Oh, my ears are ringing with money. Oh. And some people really love to count their money. Oh, yes. Oh, look at them. Oh, yes, these little coins. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, money, little bitty money. Oh, and more of it. Oh, 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 money, 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 money. Ha, ha, ha. Riches. You know, it's like the story about the man named Scrooge. Scrooge? Here we have a little doll that looks like Scrooge. Oh, he's cute. Mm -hmm. Scrooge. There's a Christmas story about that. It's, it's a fiction story. It's called The Christmas Carol. That story is about the man named Scrooge who loved and cherished and kept his money. Oh, he didn't remember that his money would vanish one day. We need to take money and use it wisely, but we need to not cherish money. The Bible warns us that it's so important not to make money our love. We can't love and cherish and focus upon money. We can't try to hold on to God and hold on to money and make them both our Lord's. We can't focus on money and then kind of focus on the Lord. We need to be wise with our money, use it wisely, not be foolish and waste money. No, but we can't love money. God really must be most important in our lives. He must be the love of our life. We must use our money wisely. The Bible says in Proverbs Chapter 27, verse 24. Riches, they don't last forever. And governments and crowns, they don't continue forever. Money will vanish. It'll be gone. We become broke as people. Our money increases, decreases, and then it vanishes. It runs out. We can't depend upon and focus upon money. So I encourage you, don't love and drool after money. Don't let money be your mind's focus. Love God. Use money wisely. But love Him first. Don't try to hold on to money and the power that it brings you or you think it brings you. It's no good. It will fail. It will be blown away. It will be gone. But His love continues forever. His word continues forever. His truth is something that we can rely upon. So I challenge you. Use money wisely, yes. But cherish and focus upon money, no. Love God and love Him first. And it will cause your life and everything you do every day to really be fulfilled and surrendered to Him. Trust Him. Uh, money? I don't think so. Trust in God, not in money. Trust God.